Never has there been as much talk about guns in this country than there has been over the past several months, certainly in the wake of what happened at Sandy Hook Elementary School. That's right. It's shaping up to be a historic day here in our state. Chris Murphy, Senator Chris Murphy joins us. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Historic day here. How do you see this impacting our state and potentially the country? Well, it's a big day for the state of Connecticut and for the country. Um, you know, there was no doubt about it. Connecticut was going to have to lead the nation in terms of passing the nation's strongest gun law. And I think there was some doubt about that over the last few months. Um, big credit to uh, both of the legislative leaders, Don Williams in the Senate, Brendan Sharkey in the House, who have been able to do something that people didn't think could be done, bring Republicans and Democrats together to pass what may be, when all is said and done at the end of the day, the strongest gun law in the nation. And I hope it points the way to what we can do in Washington. We've got to do it in Washington, and it'd be nice if we could do it with both parties on board. And, and there was doubt, and you mentioned that, because there are Republicans and there certainly are voices saying that this goes too far, this is too much. Here in Connecticut, the, the impact has been very real. It's, we've all felt it here in this state. As you talk about what's happening with the federal gun legislation, the impact may not be as real, and those voices who are opposed to this may be louder. What is the possibility that what happens here translates to Washington? Well, listen, what I tell my colleagues is that if it's not real for you today, it may be real for you in the future, because if we don't change our laws, then this can happen over and over again. And, you know, I, I lived through that experience. I was there at that firehouse within hours of that shooting and I don't want any of my colleagues to have to go through what our community has gone through nor for their families to go through what our families are going through. Um, listen, we're not going to get as strong a law at the federal level as we did here in Connecticut, but we can pass a universal background checks bill. We can get rid of illegal gun trafficking and I think we can get a ban on these high capacity magazines. It's going to be hard because very few Republicans at the national level are willing to buck the gun lobby, uh, but hopefully Connecticut will give a little bit of inspiration with the president coming here on Monday that'll be a, an additional boost as well. A lot of gun manufacturers here have talked about leaving this state uh, if this legislation goes through. Does that worry you in terms of the economic impact it would have on our state? Well it worries me. It concerns me any time a manufacturer or a company is talking about leaving. In the end I don't think that they will. And You know what you basically have to do here is, is, is balance uh, the economy against public safety. Um, and ultimately I don't think these manufacturers are going to leave but we need to make sure that our schools are safe. We need to make sure that our streets are safe. That's our first obligation as public servants, and that's the priority here. And, and obviously guns is a, is a part of that puzzle, but there are other pieces as yeah. well. And, right. and where do you go from, from there? Well, I mean, it's just not okay that it takes months for a troubled child or adolescent to get a mental health screening. Um, that, that's not okay. It's not okay that there are families out there today that know that their child has a problem and they can't find the resources. And we don't want to set up a situation in which we equate mental illness with violence. The opposite is actually true. Most people that are mentally ill are the victims of violence, not the perpetrators of violence. But the reality is, is that the only way that you solve this wave of mass shootings is to both get serious about gun laws, but also make sure that anybody that is having problems can find help and find it pretty fast. The reality is there are no easy answers. Senator Chris Murphy, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you we very much. It. Thank you.